Hey everybody, welcome to Callaway Talks. I'm Harry Arnett. I have a quick question for you. What were you doing when you were 20 years old? If I, when I was 20 years old, I was trying to wake up to go to class in college and trying to get girls to talk to me. I bet you, you were not climbing up the world rankings and taking the golf world by storm. Like the guy to my right is Matteo Monacero. Matteo, thanks for joining us on the program. And bigger than that, welcome to Team Callaway. We're so excited to have you here. I'm really excited too. Good. Thanks. You know, it's, uh, I, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. So you, you're a guy that it's weird to think of you as being 20 years old and everybody already knows about you. But, you know, last year in 2013, you had what I think is your biggest win to date at, the, at, the, uh, at Wentworth. And then so going into this year, now that you're an aging, old, ancient, you know, 20, going to be turning 21 here shortly. What, uh, what are some of your goals for 2014 as you sort of get cranking into really, you know, emerging as a superstar? Well, of course, uh, major championships and, and WGCs are you know, the main events I'm going to be focusing on. And, uh, you know, if you, if you can really do well in those ones, then a lot of things get sorted out. Uh, so that's going to be my, my, my goals, really. And then, of course, Ryder Cup that will come in, in, in October. 2014, uh, it's um, it's a big goal, you know. Will be could be my first one, and uh, I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to have my 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 rookie uh, year in Ryder Cup. So I mean, there's a lot of things that uh, are are gonna uh, I'm looking up to in, in 2014, and and hopefully hopefully they'll do they'll come. Hopefully I'll do well. So what kind of schedule are we should we look for for you in 2014 on where we can find you? It's gonna be. It's going to be a bit of uh, both, both tours, obviously. A lot of travel? A lot of travel, uh, as, 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 as usual, pretty much. Uh, but concentrating on, on Europe a little more uh, and on, on, obviously, as I said, qualifying for Ryder Cup. So I'm going to start at the beginning of the year with, uh, with Abu Dhabi and, and, and those events in the, in, the, in the Emirates and then um, come over here in the US for, for a while. So that's going to be pretty much the schedule and then come back to Europe for... Uh, went to earth and, and you know those those events but you know I'm, I'm it's obviously I'm gonna play I'm gonna play some great events so you know every every year the schedule if you're in top 50 it's pretty it's pretty much the same for everybody uh, and we all play great tournaments so we just have to get in shape and play well well it sounds old hat to him because we've seen him for a while but we were talking a little bit before we came on on here you're from uh, Italy obviously a country that's not you know, well known for having a lot of, of professional tour players. And not only that, but you're from a part of Italy that doesn't really have a lot of golf courses up there in, in uh, um, northern Italy. How did you even get started playing this game? Because I'm sure when they saw you, athletic guy, they wanted you play in the blue um, for, for Italy. And, and yet, you, here you are as a professional, professional golfer. Well, at the beginning, I wanted I wanted to be a, uh, a footballer too. Uh, I can't I can't hide that. Uh, <laughs> that was the truth. Uh, but and it's a bit of a strange story. And, and as you said, there is not many golf courses where I live. Uh, there is a few, uh, but and and it's not really a golf tradition in my family. Um, my my dad started playing golf. Uh, almost for a joke, you know, with a friend of his. Same uh, way I got started, as a joke. Uh, you know, as that's yeah. the, way, the way many Some people start. Some would say, start. still a joke. Sorry, uh, thanks for not saying that. <laughs> and uh, and I, when I was born, so three years before I started, because I started, uh, I wanted plastic golf clubs, you know, those little ones for kids. And when I was running around a, um, a shopping mall, a shopping center, yeah. and, and I wanted those those little, little clubs to, to start playing golf, I don't know. And, and my parents still don't know what, what, what was the reason, but uh, I was watching cassettes on the sofa and then I, I, I wanted to start golf and I was three and then I, I never stopped. You know, I, I had to stop football, but I never stopped golf, <laughs> well, fortunately. Thank, we're glad you didn't. <laughs> and um, what do you like to do with all, you know, you mentioned all this travel. Are you a guy that when you get to an event, or do you like to spend a lot of time at the golf course or do you like to get away from the golf course once your work's done? Uh, I, I, I want to go at the golf course and uh, just get my work done uh, and when I'm, uh, when I'm finished, you know, we, we've got the gym as well, so we need, to, we need to take care of that part too, it's become a lot more athletic this sport, so we've got more things to do than just playing golf and, and practicing, but that's the main thing, so when I get to the golf, uh, I, I get the practice done and then I, I try, I tend to just, to just go off the golf course and, and do the rest of the stuff. 
So do, are you a guy um, that likes to, to, to practice quite a bit on the golf course or do you like to spend most of your time on the, on the practice range? I usually prefer to spend it on the golf course. Uh, I usually do practice at least twice 18 holes before the tournament just because I like uh, I like to get, you know, I don't think I, I personally can get the same uh, uh, knowledge from practicing in the driving range uh, rather than practicing in the golf course. You know, I, speed of the greens, the grass around the greens and all those things that you don't really, uh, you can understand in, in the driving range, but you, I, I, I personally have, have a better feeling staying in, in the golf course. Well, that makes a lot of sense because you're a player, even though you're young, that watching you, fans out there are going to really love watching Matteo play a lot more of the big events because you like to work the ball around your 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 play around the greens too is is really you know top top 10 15 in the world and you don't really do that when you're just sitting on the on the range you have to learn those shots right no yeah I think it yeah I think it's uh, uh, as you said really uh, if, if you're a field player if you like to work the ball and uh, you're not very technical very methodical as I am you know you've, you've got to spend your time in the driving range and we all have to but uh, I, I like feelings I like to to adjust my game to the way the golf course is and the way I feel that, that specific week and and I, I love to do that in the golf course so as you said uh, my my strength are you know being being accurate with the irons and work the ball and, and then uh, when I'm when I'm in good shape with my short game, I can do I can do really well in in, in any week. But uh, I get that good shape just practicing in the golf course. So we'll see when we get you back on the program a year from now. Hopefully, we'll talk to you between now and then. When we look back on 2014, what will you consider to be you know a really good year for you in 2014? You mentioned Ryder Cup. What else? Uh, that's really the goal, Ryder Cup. Uh, if I will be in the Ryder Cup. Uh, then we'll talk about dream that. come true, huh? Uh, it's going to be a dream come true, and I have a lot of stories to tell. Uh, but uh, rather than that, uh, there is uh, there is plenty of tournaments. I'm going to play like 26, 27 tournaments. Or so, if um, if something like Wentworth will happen, will be will be amazing, and uh, it will be it will it will make my make my make my year really. But you know. Without that, Ryder Cup doesn't come, so right. I'll have to do something before Ryder Cup. Kind of let that happen. Well, a bunch of wins. We'll probably, let's say, how about three majors? And um, d defend at Wentworth, and then uh, maybe lead. How about let's lead both the uh, Order of Merit and the, the U.S. Um, PGA Tour money list. How about that? Those are good goals. And then wake up. Yeah, and then we'll wake up. And then the Ryder Cup will happen. So uh, it's Certainly. appreciate having you here. Thank you. Again, it's great to have you as part of the team, and we're looking forward to being a little tiny bit of your success for years to come. Thank you very much. Okay, appreciate Thank it. You. Okay.